Welcome back to the channel everyone. We just got the trailer, the official announcement trailer for Tekken 8. I was not expecting this, you know, I was just gonna kick my feet up and wait until December, but a bombshell has just been dropped on us. I'm gonna go through this whole trailer and just break down bit by bit everything because there's a lot here. First thing that I will talk about, let's skip to the end. All the way to the end, stay tuned PlayStation 5. Let me say this logo is really nice. I like how clean it is. Even though there was that leaked logo with the eight in the middle, I think this one's better. It's clean, it's bright, and it tells you straight up, this is Tekken 8, good job. But now the PlayStation 5 part, I see a lot of people saying like, come on, this is exclusive to PlayStation 5. No, that is not the case. Like Street Fighter did the exact same thing. I think at the end of Street Fighter trailer, it only said PlayStation 2, but we know that it's coming to Xbox and Steam as well. So I just want to say this at the start of the video, this definitely will not be exclusive to PlayStation. Going back to the beginning of the trailer, let's talk about what we're shown. You start off with a G Corporation. I wanna say this is like a helmet or this is like some kind of armor. I don't know what it is, but G Corporation fragments there. It also looks like there's some bullet casings on the ground. The reason why I'm pointing out these little details is because it's little details. This is how visually depth the game is gonna be. G Corporation helmet, it's all busted up. The bottom of the mask looked like it got ripped off. The eye socket is kind of messed up. This thing's been through a lot. Whoever had that helmet on, I feel bad for them. In the background, you have a helicopter propeller, looks like uh, right there. Okay, one tornado, two tornado, three tornado. This is a lot of tornadoes. This is a lot of destruction. You have Jin there, Kazuya there, and this is in another rock stage. Now I know I've been saying, I oh, you have water splashes, look at that. I know I've been saying I don't wanna fight on a pile of rocks, but I'm okay with this 100% because the scenery, the scenery is what I wanted. I wanted it to feel alive. I wanted it to feel real. And this, you could tell by how to, look at the rain effects. Wow, what is this, Red Dead Redemption 2? Look at this, look at the lightning. Oh my God. Okay, and we kind of get a look at Jen's new outfit here. The red gauntlets look a little bit different uh, than Tekken 7. I'll try to put a side-by-side a, a -side comparison so you can see how different it is. But this red, white armbands is definitely different. And I can't tell exactly, but it looked like they changed the design on the pants. You have flames now on both sides, it looks like, and you have some white in there. So it looks like his color scheme is gonna be red, white, and black. Now. This is gameplay footage. And what I think we're seeing at the beginning of this is a intro. You have intros where Jin is talking to Kazuya and Kazuya is responding. We've seen something like this in Mortal Kombat 11 and I think 10, and it's about time Tekken has something as well. Jin says, people like you shouldn't exist in this world. Look at Kazuya. This is incredible. You have fire on trees in the background. You can see a little bit of vegetation, a little bit of green. Kazuya, such pathetic words, Jin Kazama. Pathetic. And look how, look at the face animations. I don't think they said what engine this is being developed on. I would not be surprised if this is Unreal Engine 4, but really this might be Unreal Engine 5. Just looking at all of this, like, look at his look at his face. This might be Unreal Engine 5. Regardless, whatever engine it is, it looks cool. It doesn't really matter at this point. It looks nice. You can see the water running down his face. I have to be honest here. The hair does look a little bit, mm, like if you see the bangs of Jin, but you know, that's fine, it's whatever. The fight starts. So I think this is how the, the, the game is gonna go. One person says something, another person says something, and then Jin tries to punch, both characters will attack, and then boom, fight. Fight's gonna pop up, the health bars is gonna pop up. I think this is how every match is gonna start. This is sort of the new intros in a way. And then both of them, their, their, their hits kind of create this shock wave and they're both kind of thrusted back by it. Look And look at how it's pushing all the water away. And the camera gets kind of hit too. That's nice. Wow, that is nice. Cause th so the camera being pushed like that, you kind of feel like the camera, like there's a cameraman there. That's that effect that it gives you. It kind of feels like the camera is like 
part of the battle in a sense. And when you're talking about Tekken 7 and all of the weird camera shenanigans, it kind of feels like the camera is uh, a part of the battle at times. So the camera starts to zoom in and oh, okay. So Kazuya has white pants and it has like black and gold. This kind of looks like a dragon wrapping around his leg, but it could be flames. So I think it's a dragon just considering how it looks like gold sort of scales pattern. Jin has one black leg and then there's white and red on it. That looked like, I don't know if that's a spaceship back there. That is some sort of spaceship back there. Something's moving. This is gonna be incredible. You have water splashing. Wow. Okay, so gameplay. Fight. <laughs> So Jin does, I think that's one, two, three, or one, two, four. You guys can, Jin mains, you guys know this string. Even though there's some plus frames here, Jin probably can do some sort of mix up. Kazuya goes for his iconic kick. And look at that animation. Look at how that throws Jin back like that. Wow. Wow. And you see that? So, so this animation is kind of really fascinating because you hit Jin and then Jin lowers his guard. You see how his hands is down? His hands is down. And to me, this kind of is the developer's way of signaling uh, minus frames. So Kazuya can continue the attack because you see he brings up his guard and he's back. So I think this is sort of a new like stun animation we're seeing where the guard will uh, lower for a second and that shows you that you're not supposed to press a button there. You're supposed to keep playing defense and uh, wait your turn basically. He charges in and I don't know if this is just for the trailer or if this really is like how they're going to do it but both characters are attacking at the same time and it goes into slow motion. Kazuya goes for a low crushing, Jin goes for the, this kick actually is the same kick that broke Leroy's leg in Tekken Bloodline. Kazuya crushes it. Wow, look at that. Look at the animations there. Woo -wee. That is incredible, magnificent. So Kazuya kicks Jin and he flies back quite far. And if you see the camera, the camera, it goes off of Kazuya and it follows Jin. Now, I don't know if this is just for the trailer or if this is actually how it's going to happen, where you have these sort of counter hit moments where the camera is focused on one character for a second. Kazuya runs up. Wow. Wow. So Jin is getting up off the ground. He's still recovering, still recovering. And Kazuya starts running at him and he does another kick. Now, I don't think this kick is going to be guaranteed. But I think this is just a cinematic, but it's just fascinating how he's still recovering. Another kick. It's blocked. So Jin goes with another string there. It's fascinating how each time these characters block, they get pushed back so far. These block stun animations is like, look how much space is there. I wonder if this is like, because everyone say Tekken 7 is all about offense, offense, attacking, attacking. But if you attack and you push your opponent back way, like his guard is down. Look, his guard is down again and Jin is running up. Look like he's going for some sort of mix up. I don't know if this is what they're trying to tell us, but this is like a few times now and we're only halfway through the trailer. They're constantly getting pushed back and their guard is dropping. And then the other person is running up, applying some kind of pressure. I don't know what Kazuya does there to get hit, but he gets hit. That's another one of Jin's iconic moves. And then the electric wind got, it, it misses. When I first seen it, I thought that hit, but it misses. That is incredible. If Tekken real, whoo, this trailer is magnificent. That is a ship back there. Have you guys been paying attention to that ship? Let's go, let's scroll back. Is that ship moving? I think that ship back there, cause we can't really see it here, right? We we could kind of see it there. It looks like it's, it is moving. It is moving. That ship is moving back there. All right, all right. Where were we? So he misses the electric wind god fist and then Kazuya looked like he whiff punishes and he does uh, a combo. Wow. I like how when he when he squeezes his fist, all of the rain, all of the rain like like flies off. Like you you feel the impact. And look how rip he is. Boy is strong. Boy is strong. That ship is moving a whole lot. And he punches Jen again. And he slides on the ground. He runs up. 
and it looks like they're gonna trade again and then Jin kicks him. Oh, and this is a float. Okay, so, hmm. So is this how the new combo system is gonna work? Jin runs up and he kicks him, launches him up in the air, and wow, look at that animation from Jin. Runs up and kicks him. So that's a short combo. I'm pretty sure you're gonna be able to do longer combos than that, but that was a launch and then another kick that sent him far back. That is magnificent. And look at Jin, both of, both of these boys are ripped. Hitting the gym, okay, okay, okay. The eye glowing, okay. Another trade here. Ooh, actually no. Kazuya hits Jin first and counter hits him. The same thing in Tekken, Jin drops to his knees and this is like the new counter hit effect. Jin drops and gets hit with Double electric. I like how they put that in there. They put that in there specifically for the Tekken fans. Double electric. Oh, is it screw? The screw is back. So counter hit, double electric, screw. It has a different animation, but still the screw. Kazuya runs up and does a hell sweep. And yeah, so he does this hell sweep afterwards. That's that's pretty nice. Wow, and look at the ground. Jen hits the ground and then boom exposes the earth underneath because so because I'm guessing this is um, uh, Magma uh, cool down on top of it. So when you land on it, you expose the rock underneath Because he just smiles right there this fight animation these these faces is really cool And I wonder if this is like round two it's like I could I could definitely imagine like right here round two ready fight and then he gets up you know goes for that same electric this time with a little bit more heat behind it now i think this might be jen's rage art look at the lightning the aesthetics here i think this is probably his rage art runs up big electric and then he summons one wing one wing of the devil gen form i think this is showing that he definitely has mastery of the ability and then here he charges up does a big hit and then it kind of has that same rage art effect that we uh, are used to in Tekken 7. He dashes through anime style. This kind of looks like Yoshimitsu's uh, rage art. You know at the last hit where he hits and then he charges through the other side. Jin does the same thing here. And then he poses. From this moment you have what I assume is going to be one of his winning outros. Where you have the leaf you, or not a leaf what is this a, a feather a black feather. And he crushes it. He might say something here, who knows? But I think what this is kind of, well, this is symbolic of many things. The feather usually is white. The white symbols angel, Jun Kazama, peace, love, happiness. But the fact that it's black, um, it's corrupted, it's kind of like, look how evil he looks here. Very, very evil. But he crushes that, that, that feather. He crushes that feather. And it cuts to the chains being heated up. Now this chain snapping is symbolic of many things. The devil gene is always linked to chains. Devil, devil Jin has chains incorporated in his outfit. Claudio has uh, chains incorporated into this outfit. And maybe the chains being broken could be symbolic of Jin, I don't know, breaking the chains in a sense. We'll have to see. The chains break. Tekken 8, you get the logo and it says stay tuned. I was not expecting this. I'm definitely going to be paying very close attention to all of these um, events that's coming up now because this one blew my mind. Seeing this, all of our concerns is going to be put to rest. Everything that we were afraid of, this sort of tells us that Tekken 8 will not be the same as Tekken 7. It's going to be better, bigger, better, and I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. But that's going to be this little breakdown. I'm going to do some more research, see what Harada and Michael Murray are saying on Twitter. I'm sure it's probably a lot, but I'm going to make another video uh, probably tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and bye bye.